First at five, we start with a breakthrough in the fight against COVID-19. A clinical trial has identified a drug that has had positive effects in patients. And part of that trial was carried out right here in Portland. Fox 12's Simon Gutierrez is live in Northeast Portland tonight with how this came together and what it means for fighting the virus. Simon? Yeah, the takeaway from experts is that this is a meaningful first step. The first drug identified in a clinical trial to have an effect on COVID-19. The drug Remdesivir, manufactured by Gilead, began being used in clinical trials in late February. Those trials featured patients at hospitals around the world and four hospitals in the Portland area, including Providence Portland Medical Center and Kaiser Sunnyside Hospital. It was highly powered with about 1,090 plus individuals. So it is the first truly high-powered, randomized, placebo-controlled trial. Today, Dr. Anthony Fauci announced the early results of the trial were promising. Patients given remdesivir took 11 days to recover from COVID-19, compared to 15 days in patients given a placebo. Although a 31% improvement doesn't seem like a knockout 100%, it is a very important proof of concept, because what it is proven is that a drug can block this virus. Remdesivir was originally developed to treat Ebola and was studied for its effects on MERS and SARS. Today's announcement uh, is exciting in the sense that this is the first study that showed, has shown any benefit uh, from any drug for COVID-19. Dr. Stone Doggett is an infectious disease physician at OHSU and will be researching drug discoveries to treat COVID-19. He says the results of the clinical trial will likely make remdesivir the preferred drug to treat COVID-19, at least for now. This really separates remdesivir from the anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine uh, because hydroxychloroquine, as of now, doesn't have any uh, clinical trial evidence that really supports that it has any effect at all. Uh, Dr. Doggett, who you just heard from right there, says initially access to this new drug might be an issue. He says the FDA will likely be working full time to try to make this drug more available, more widely available. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.